let me talk to you a little bit about the way Goddard explains reality and our experience. And I bet when we get to the readings portion of this, we're going to have a lot of questions around things that you want to change in your life or things that you want some clarity around in your life. Some of you have financial issues, some of you have health issues. And so there are things that we could actually begin to truly work with with this power of our mind if we understood again how the process was. But in order to understand the process, we need to understand the moving parts. When we are manifesting something, there are three things at play. Again, it's the conscious, and it's the subconscious, and then it's the mover of between the two. It's that which impresses upon the subconscious from the conscious, and that would be the emotion. Consciousness is where our ideas come from. Consciousness is where we spend our time thinking. And if we have patterns of thought, monkey mind patterns, and we allow them to just go on and on and on, that's happening within the conscious playing field. The subconscious, alternatively, exists within us on a much deeper level and I think has a, uh, is very hooked into divine higher self-consciousness. But it's through the subconscious, not the conscious, that all things come into being within the existence. It is the animator of what the conscious actually thinks about. And so if you spend your time in your thoughts, in your consciousness, thinking positively or being a hopeful kind of person or somebody who just walks around the planet just knowing things are going to go their way, if that's how you're spending your time in your consciousness, that is impressed upon, almost stamped into the stuff or into the womb of the subconscious and it's through the energy of the subconscious which is so powerful that things began begin to take shape in the physical reality so if you want to change the physical reality you have to understand that the subconscious will do this for you but based on what it is you're thinking about and more importantly what it is you're feeling about and the subconscious takes the impression based on the energy of the feeling that delivers it. So in your mind, you can be saying, I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. But if your feeling is depression, if your feeling is anxiety, if your feeling is lack or scarcity, that's the vehicle into which that idea gets into and then goes to the subconscious. And by the time it hits the subconscious, what the subconscious receives as the impression is not so much the conscious thought, but the feeling of it, because the feeling has more energy. If you align the feeling with the conscious thought, the idea, that creative impulse that you think with the mind, with the feeling and sustain the feeling, that's how you make the lasting impression on the subconscious. And that's what we all need to do. We need to find a way to feel in ourselves how we would like to experience the world. And so if you'd like to experience the world with your soulmate or a partner, then you need to live now in the energy of already being that. And you need to have the conscious thought. And, and affirmations are fantastic, but only if they are married with the feeling of already being or having that. That good feeling is what impresses upon the subconscious, which then animates and expresses out into the reality. And Goddard understood this. Mm -hmm.